Well, I want to share you something that happened to me today. Ooh, go ahead. I outran the cops. <laughs> really? I outran the cops. I hey, what, uh, your sh- fucking Chevette? What are you driving in? Corvette? <laughs> what is your thing you drive? <laughs> Chevette. <laughs> what is that car it's you drive? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Was it a- it's a Wrangler. The Wrangler. The you, out, you so I wasn't even cop. on your motorcycle. No. Damn. It was. I went. I was running late, and I came to a, a light, a red light. And it's not right turn and red in New York. Um, oh, it's not? No, it's not. I don't know. But I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rush. Like, there were no cars coming to my left. I'm Brian fucking Q. Oh, wow. I'm in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> I got shit to handle. Why the fuck are you trying to delay me? <laughs> so I bust a right, and as I made the illegal right, a cop passes me like i'm making a right he's coming from the right we just he just looks at me i look at him we're, we're both going in slow motion like <laughs> i'm like we that's it i was like I, I i'm busted like i'm fucked like there's nothing i can do but the he passes he continues going to my left and i'm watching him in the rearview mirror turns on the lights and sirens right boop, boop. but to get me He's got to make a three-point turn because it was a narrow road. He can't whip a Yui. Right. And there's traffic coming. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, I am – this is a, a – pinnac- this is a moment. Are you coming to record Tell Them Steve Dave? Yes. Because you were crossing state lines maybe. You, you, you could be a felon here. <laughs> he could be a want to be. He's a fugitive, right? right? So I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm going to fucking go for it. I'm going to go for it. You're going to have to put the foot on the pedal. Luke. And, and do 50. And Duke, like the Duke boys, right? I'm just going to fucking peel out and go. You're going to risk the beautiful Sp- uh, Stacey Patella's life. I was on my way. To, like, I was, oh, I yeah, hadn't got her yet. Right. Okay. So <laughs> I fucking drop it. I downshift. He's, he's telling it like, like he truly is. Like No, this, like this is fucking. <laughs> like he's fucking. I'm telling you what. Was that what? Stacey and Estelle? What was that movie? What's that? When they fucking drove over the cliff. Uh, oh, Thelma and Louise. Louise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was. I whipped turns into a residential neighborhood. <laughs> Stacy and Adele. Adele. <laughs> There's Vin I'm, Diesel over here, Fast and Furious. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy and Estelle. So, okay. He met a hunk in a fucking honky tonk. Fucking, that's why it took him so long to get here. <laughs> Some tranny you picked up in the back seat. Stacy, <laughs> take the wheel while I suck this girl's cock. It's a Staten Island Brad Pitt. Estelle's <laughs> like, whoa, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't boss me around, Estelle. <laughs> I got a method. <laughs> Give it some gas, Stacy. <laughs> the fuzz is All on her ass. <laughs> in a fine block, standing on the radio. Um, no, so I whipped into like a residential area and just started fucking like weaving the streets. Uh, and I and I fucking beat him. I beat the law. I beat Johnny Law. Uh, pulled over, set your car on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I shot an old woman in the face. I pulled her out of my car. I got in, and I and here I am. Sliced your fingerprints off with a razor. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, man. So I don't care about the law. Well, I mean, better... I was scree- it was screeching corners, like really, like, drift, like Tokyo Drift and shit. Wow. Yeah, all before a right turn ticket, which would cost you how much? <laughs> Well, it's more the points on my life. He took three lives. <laughs> Did I ever tell a story on a podcast about when I got uh, pulled over and there was um, at one of those? I don't know. Did I ever tell this when I when I got pulled over at one of those uh, where they stop you if you're when they look at your um, to see if your something's expired on your windshield? Other oh, registration. Yeah. And I got pulled over to the side with a whole bunch of other people in the middle of it. Was a beautiful like spring afternoon. I was coming to work and they pulled me over. I didn't have a seatbelt on either. And they pulled me over to the side, and they and they it took forever for them to start writing up my ticket. And as I'm writing the ticket, they got one of the like a massive cop, like he's a fucking chunk of a man. He's just huge. <laughs> Fat or built? <laughs> built. Okay. Um, he's writing the tickets up for the people who have been pulled over. And there's um, we're at a, at a very slow light intersection uh, in Middletown, so there's like a lot of slow traffic that that comes at this at this spot where they got me. And, and there's one cop who's like who's uh, standing in the highway or on the road, not the highway, as as the cars are going by very slowly, and he's telling them to pull over. All of a sudden, you hear this commotion out of nowhere, like "Whoa, whoa, stop! I told you to stop!" And um, gone at Estelle. <laughs> 
<laughs> is that up there? <laughs> that commotion. Um, and, uh, and we both, me and the cop, I, I have my door open and I'm sitting like in my car with, with my feet on the outside and I'm just kind of sitting there like going like, I can't believe how long this has taken. It took almost an hour for them to process me. So he, he had put you over to the side. He put me over point. to the side. Okay. So I'm like sitting with my feet on the, on the floor, like sitting, like not how you would normally sit in the seat. I right. wasn't facing out the windshield. You relaxed a little bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, very, I was, I was making a statement with my body stance. Yeah. Like this is taking well, way too long. You. Yeah. Um, and uh, I hear all this commotion. Everybody starts screaming and me and the cop look up and um, some old man <laughs> is not stopping. And he, they put their hands on the uh, on the hood of the car, and he still continues to go. He Whoa. just takes off. So the cops start like are in a frazzled, and um, they start they get in their cars and they start um, high speed chase tra- huh? chasing this guy. But my chunkhead is just standing there, and I go, "You're not going to go chase that guy because he hasn't started me yet. He's just about to start me." And he goes, "Nah, they can handle it." Oh, and I was just wow. like, oh, "Really?" I go, "I mean." <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty brazen attempt, right there. He almost ran over a co-officer, and you're gonna you're gonna stay here and write me because I didn't have a seatbelt on. Because yeah, what a dick, right? I mean, uh, I don't know, man. To me, I thought that was kind of cowardly. Yeah. Wow. He had a chance to be a hero, and he chose to fucking sit there and write a ticket. Steady's a zero. <laughs> yeah, who knows what's going to happen on that chase? Do you I think was it was the, doubt that was the it, old man probably just didn't even see them? I mean, he looked like he was ninety. I was going to say, was it dementia or yeah, was it like a purposefully? Yeah. Alert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that, that's one of those things. I see silver alert, and I'm like, I hope the day never comes. <laughs> Where they're like, where's Johnson? <laughs> like, first, what are you talking about, man? I've had so many silver alerts here at the store. Have you seen Brian? Jeff Silver. Where's Brian? Jeff I mean, calls from your parents, oh, Suzanne. Really? <laughs> like, when you go missing, you are MIA at time. We've had more silver alerts for you in the past five years than, than Monmouth County's had on all the residents that live here, the seniors who live in Monmouth County. Yeah. I get calls on Staten Island sometimes. Like, yeah. you know where Brian is? We're, we're supposed to be shooting comic books. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they're not the official sanctioned civil right, rights. Right. Well, that's what I'm that talking about. Yeah. Sort of right. count, but they're just as frantic and um, <laughs> not the, yeah, even more so. Yeah. <laughs> and the fate of like the fate of the world is hanging on them when you get these calls. <laughs> I, my well, favorite part of those calls is sometimes the person calling you, be it Pam or or Suzanne. Throws a theory in there. Yeah, <laughs> that's always like, like, yeah. Is it like a hopeful theory? Like, no, it's never, oh no, it, it, it's always. He was like, watching a movie that he really loves, and, it, and uh, the power went out. And now I don't know what he's going to do. He's probably killing himself. <laughs> could you could you call the morgue? <laughs> and it's always like, and then I get you right away, and you're at Barnes and Noble, like, <laughs> reading Hiding. a book. Yeah. And I'm like, well, Suzanne just told me that you peeled out an eighty with a noose around your neck. And you're, you're like, okay, yeah. Oh, that part's true. <laughs> <laughs> but at least, yeah, that's the, I'm running away. He ordered right. something um, on Amazon and it says it's going to take more than four days to get here. And then he's really upset. <laughs> <laughs> Said it was delivered and it wasn't delivered. <laughs> he lost his shit, Walt. 